lightning speed tutorial about reactor. Reactor is um, the physics engine that's housed in 3ds Max and you can use for well physics so like gravity. Okay gravity is one thing I'm gonna show you today so basic scene I'm gonna use a plane and some boxes really. But you can use anything if you have a complex mesh um, it will render out just fine. So. Okay, we got two boxes and a plane. That's it. Uh, we're going over to the helpers tab and over to reactor. Gonna press rigid body collection and press add. Add the meshes and click it somewhere. Doesn't matter. I'm going over to the utilities tab and reactor. So what we got here is some um, previews. We got the collision tolerance, which is usually pretty high up, so make sure you press it at 0 0.5. And we're going over to the properties, and properties is something you want to take care about. So we're going to select the plane, it's going to be unyielding, which means it doesn't move, and it's going to be concave mesh. Be sure you do concave mesh in every mesh you have, because else it won't work. And what we also have to do is uh, add some mass to the meshes. So turn it up here and check if the mass is uh, entered correctly. I just pressed 3 the other day and it came to 0 and I have no idea why I did that. So here, now it's 2.4. Well, never mind. Okay, and preview in window it doesn't have any errors here and if you press P you can see it's it falls everyone have a cooler animation can like bounce them off each other and right now if you just press preview you didn't really have you just previewed it so it's, it's not set or anything so something like this, preview, P, there we go, and sliding and stuff, okay, this is pretty cool. So, that's it. If you want to render it out, sort of say, you can click create animation, and what it means is it's going to create a keyframe for every frame you have, from 1 to 100, and it cannot be undone, so it's going to delete or it's really going to be stuck there. So, all right. And had no warning, so close. And what we see now is that our boxes have keyframes. Plane doesn't have because it's unyielding. But um, it doesn't. It it can't do the preview anymore because it has a keyframe. So you can just delete the rigid body, and now you have this smooth animation, which is really nice. You can just check out if. Uh, the animation like stops at a certain point, like here. You can just delete these keyframes, and it's all good. So, one thing to keep in mind: um, we did set the collision tolerance to 0 0.5. So, if you zoom in, press Alt W and press J for the brackets, and it falls. You can see it, it, it kind of has clearance here, but you can just turn it down. My special trick. So, and that's that's really it. You just created gravity. You can go and do cool stuff with it. So.